he is without doubt the finest I've ever seen in terms of getting shots on target and making the goalkeeper work. Um, and, you know, he did it consistently over a great number of years. And he did it in training. It wasn't just something that I think came naturally to him, although he was obviously has a wonderful gift. But he worked at it as well. And, um, you know, he, he was without doubt one of the most dangerous midfield players at that time. He's one of those things where you never see him. You never see him till he's there on the end of what, what's going to happen. Um, and he, he didn't run around causing a lot of attention and drawing a lot of attention to him, which again is one of his strengths. He just read the game the way it was going. He knew that if the ball was going, and this was probably more before my time than, than after my time, but certainly later on with the likes of Cyril and other players that we had, um, he knew that if the ball was going into Jeff or into Cyril, there was a fair chance it was going to come back in a certain area. And his anticipation was, was second to none. And that's, that's what it is, it's anticipation and taking a gamble. And I mean, one of Tony's favourite saying was that, you know, if you don't buy a ticket, you won't win the lottery. And he says that many, many times, and that's why he shoots. You'd never get a pass off him in the box anyway. He scored an awful lot of goals, Tony. Um, and I think it's difficult to pick anyone out. I, I think the one that it, a lot of people would say would be the one at Oldham, which, which meant so much to us at that time. Um, I think that was a very important goal for the, for the football club uh, in its development at that time. And that led really to, to the development of the team as it, as it did develop from John Giles onwards through to the very exciting team that, that we became in the 70s and the, the late 70s with, uh, with Big Ron. Tony, you're a true legend. The statue is a well-deserved tribute to a man and a player who has given everything to West Bromwich Albion Football Club and you couldn't be held in higher esteem than what you're held in by both supporters and your colleagues. Well done.